For more videos visit for the sake of education.com. Alright guys, now we're gonna do this problem which says specify the magnitude and coordinate the right shear angles of F1 so that the resultant uh, force of the three forces acting on this bracket is negative 350 K. And note that F of 3 lies on the XY plane. So first we're trying to find F of 1. So the X component plus the Y component plus the C component. Let's find F of 2. Just break it down. F of 2 is easy, is 0 in the I minus 200 in the j because it's going to the negative uh, y-axis plus 0 in the k f of 2 is easy f of 3 now you know that f of 3 lies on the x and y plane so we got f of 3 of x f of 3 in the y and f of 3 in the c it lies on the x and y plane so the f of c is 0 and for the x, you know that it's f of 3 times the sine of 30. And f of 3 times the cosine of 30 will give you the y, because that's the angle we have right here. So this should give you negative 200 for the x, because notice that it's going on the negative x direction and 346.41 in the y negative 200i plus 346.41j plus 0k so we got uh, f2 and f3, f1 we're trying to find and we got fr already because it was given to us a 0i plus 0j minus 350k so you can form equations with the f1 f2 and f3 has to equal to this y y of f2 y of f3 has to equal to this and c of f1 c of f2 c of f3 has to equal to this let's form our equations x plus 0 minus 200 has to equal to 0 so x is 200 y minus 200 plus 346.41 has to equal to 0 so y have to equals negative 146.41 that's right yes and c plus 0 plus 0 has to equal negative 350 so C is negative 350 so f of 1 is equal to 200 I minus 146.41 J minus 350 Okay. With these values we can find the magnitude, which is easy to find, just the x component plus the y component plus the c component all square added together, and you get that the magnitude is 428.9. To find the direction angles, this is the one it forms with the X, this is the one it forms with the Y, and this is the one it forms with the C. You gotta do the cosine inverse of the X over the magnitude, cosine inverse of the Y over the magnitude, and cosine inverse of the C over the magnitude. When you calculate these angles, you're gonna get that this is 62.2 degrees, this is 109.96 degrees and this is 144.7 degrees final answer, final answer